Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to talk about my Natsuro plus Draconic Orchestra Mayon team that tackled UN1. So, UN1 is a primarily fire-heavy dungeon, at least towards the end, which means water-based teams have twice as much of an advantage compared to other colors, which can make it you have a bit of an easier time. So, Mayon is a leader that wants to actually utilize... Okay, why is it not letting me transform it? Okay, she wants to utilize two water combos. And doing so will give her the 75% damage reduction, auto follow attack, and if you match two water combos, you get the damage reduction and some multiplier. If you match three water combos, you gain double the attack multiplier. So it's a colossal jump in terms of damage output going to three combos. And she doesn't come with any bonus combos herself, and the fact that she has 410 combo awakenings means that, you know, you've got to find a way to actually hit high enough combos in order to actually take advantage of her. So, I don't own Mayon, but I own Natsuro, and I kind of am under the strong belief that Natsuro can pair with essentially any card that's water, and it's gonna kind of work out well. And the reason for that is when Natsuro is fully transformed, she gives you, well, she has a 7x6 board upon entering, she gives you a big amount of HP, she gives you auto fall attack, she gives you bonus combos, she is just a nice well-rounded card with a two-turn active skill that does make orbs and a small attack multiplier along with a significant boost to your healing potential because she has five enhanced heart of awakening so with the bigger board you do have to match a blob or row of water orbs for natsuro's leader skill but with the bigger board like i said you're more likely to have three water combos, including a row. So this is kind of what I did. And there are several floors where you can actually just kind of smash through with only two water combos because rows actually add a significant amount of damage overall when you really think about it. And I've managed to stack nine of them across my team. So weapon assist wise, I chose New Year's Alitu's weapon assist for my Natsuro because it gave a myriad of useful awakenings. It has bind immunity, which I need. It has Tape resist, which is great. It has a cross awakening. I, this is the only weapon assist I believe that has this combination. And it's just nice because I could take other weapon assists, that means, for my team. And there is the chance you get sticky blind skyfall. So it's nice having a option to clear them with crosses. And remember that for this team, you only need two water combos to really survive. Natsuro's damage reduction component needs six but it's only a 25 percent shield not that big overall so if you're starved for orbs all you need is six blue and you actually can activate to not die matching four hearts will heal you back to full health for the most part crab girl or in her like super reincarnated form here has four skill boosts but it's two skill bind resist natsuro and mayon both don't actually have skill bind resist so it's kind of annoying so crab girl solves that problem she hits reasonably hard remember the fact that with water versus fire i get double damage so even though she doesn't really double damage cap that often against red spawns it ends up being a significant amount because it's doubled on top of that so you get double 10 combo one seven combo her active skill removes orb blocks and creates a row of water orbs at the top and then you also get two turns of attribute absorption if you are below half health at the beginning of the dungeon when you enter you transform natsuro which gives you a huge health multiplier but then you're suddenly missing all this health which means you're below half health it felt pretty nice being able to like just activate this active skills second component just because you slid under half health by transforming natsuro and then it's just a nice orb generator for the rest of the dungeon along with the fact that there is a chance there's another color absorb you can make yourself get hit without natsuro shield and i believe that will put you below half health in case you get trolled in terms of like water being absorbed every single time in a row Beach Planner hits actually incredibly hard nowadays, and she does have VDP in the odd instances where you actually need to VDP stuff down. Wang Yi does take care of it, but sometimes it's left with a little health or Wang Yi's down or whatever reason, and Beach Planner at least contributes to that. She has a six turn active skill that gives you bonus combos and voids, damage absorption, which is completely irrelevant, but it clears unmatchable, and that's what's important in this dungeon. There is a chance of unmatchable on distal which will just let, kill you outright because it takes away your water orb ability to match so that's obviously a problem and then like there is water unmatchable on the boss itself so planner is low enough cooldown to charge up and solve both those problems but i inherit 
Natsuro's Weapon Assist on Planner because it gives me the same Cleric Active skill, but it gives me Void Damage Void as well, and I need two turns to actually kill the boss. So I use Wang Yi at the beginning, push it below half health, he makes Water Orbs unmatchable, I make them matchable once again, I pierce through his Damage Void, kill him on the second turn. And it gives enhanced water orbs, so everyone just hits harder. If you're above half health, Beach Planner hits even harder, so her double damage cap oftentimes doesn't really go to waste. Wang Yi is just a great choice for mono water teams. He's big and strong and manly, and he creates a column of water orbs with void, damage void, triple 10 combo, two enhanced water combos, a large attack stat, monstrous health stat, solid card all around, and I gave him the flag in order to give him a seven combo and water sub attribute. There's no sense in letting like a billion or maybe even two billion damage go to waste. So yeah, New Year's Feral is an even harder hitting card with four 10 combo awakenings, Blind Resist, as well as an active skill that does give you the ability to clear other Skyfall buffs or no Skyfall debuffs, along with providing only water, light, and hard orbs falling down. Most of the time, it should give you enough to activate, and then the second turn, there should still be enough orbs to activate, so it can give you a bit of that luxury of one active skill solving two floors potentially, but it is on the longer side of a six turn cooldown. But just remember, most of the cards in this team actually generate water orbs, so that does make a difference. And kind of like Wang Yi, I gave her a weapon assist that gives water sub attribute because since she does hit even harder, there's no point in letting like two to three, maybe four billion damage go to waste. Like you might as well tap into that. So this one gives you Rose and Haste. So basically when I enter the dungeon, I'm able to use four turns of Haste uh, to get Natsu to charge up a little sooner towards her final transformation. And once she is fully transformed, life becomes a bit easier because there's another active skill that makes water orbs, some extra hard orbs, that sort of idea. So with that being said, let us enjoy the actual gameplay footage. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Like other water sub but I get the rose do help everyone else is the idea. So, fun fact, when I get to, well, when Natsuro transforms, I go below half health, which means Crab Girl, or I can't pronounce this Hitagi, is now going to get the two turns of Attribute Absorption Cancellation, so it's pretty nice. Haste, and then haste, Mayon's up, we start puzzling. So I only need two water combos total with that row, because A, bonus combos, and B, oh, it's mostly the bonus combos, woo! Okay, so not the greatest looking board, unfortunately. Not many water orbs came down. Very sad. I feel like I need to find a option that gives me, like, Water Orb Skyfall, just to make this a little easier at the beginning. I don't know if this will do enough damage, unfortunately, but we're gonna find out together. I'll make combos, at least. Without the row, the damage is probably pretty low, but then I do have the attack buff, so never mind. I can do so much damage anyways. Alrighty. It works. Yeah, I need to just remember the heal of heart TPAs. Like, don't have a recovery multiplier, but I have many heart orb enhances. The only drawback of Natsura is that it just takes so long to be fully transformed. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, did not mean to match all those water orbs. Oh well. Bonus combos. And the water attack buff as well deck does let you overcome the first few floors with greater ease. Because it's a pretty significant multiplier. I feel like Feral could just be another Mayon if all, in all honesty. To a certain extent, like... I don't have the greatest orb generation is the problem in a way.
So with the bonus combos, I do overcome 10 combos, which means I should almost do enough damage, but at the same time, it's okay. And start losing out on what damage you mean. Alright, on to the next one. So, I get the board Shrink, which is inconsiderate. I feel like instead of Crab Girl, it could be like Silvert. That way you get the board Expansion, as well as the Movement Time and Recovery Buff. But I don't own that card, unfortunately. So I feel like I would like that card if I had it. Oh, Fish. Okay, I did it properly. Alright, so I hit 10 combos with the bonus combos from Mayon's active skill. So I actually go to the next floor. Yeah, I know you do switch it out, but I'm just, it's like someone was asking about an alternative to like Feral being on the team. That was Envy, I believe. Crab Girl could just be another Mayon as well. Just find a way to give yourself color absorption cancellation. Maybe you could use the... I don't know. Hmm. Alright, let's use Mayon. So, I do have bonus combos. I should make the effort to match the heal TPA. Ah, oops. One more combo. Hey, I did 10 combos, that means. Only need to hit 8 in a way. Unfortunately, it's not the greatest damage there. If we can use Royal Oak. I don't know, like, I've been contemplating it as well, like, I don't know, it's either Crab Girl or Feral has to go for Royal Oak. That's a terrible board, Feral. This is why Feral can be annoying. Like, she's not exactly the most consistent thing. Oh, I have my movement time back. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm on to the next floor. I should be alive. And Natsuro's up. I have ways to make more orbs now, so it's better. I'll be fine. Like, Pharaoh also gives, like, a pretty nice... Ouch. She does give, like, blind resist as well, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna use Natsuro here just to get more orbs. Alert. alert. I do have bonus combos still, which is nice. Wow! But wow, thank you so much to OP for becoming a sensational subscriber for not only 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, not 56, not 57, not 58, not 59, not, no, wait, 59, 60, not 61, not 62, not 63, not 64, not 65, not 66, not 67, not 68, it's 60, 76! I don't know how to count, but thank you so much, OP, for all of your continuous support. How are you doing today? Alrighty, I'm back to my full board. I was able to leverage the, oh, what's it called? I was able to leverage the fact that I got extra zest from my... Like, bonus combos to carry me through the 6x5 penalty. And now I'm back to, like, my regularly scheduled programming, so to speak. I have Mayon in hand. I still have Crab Girl waiting. Alrighty. Damage reduction shouldn't be an issue for this at all. Oh, too many orbs almost. Almost. But more is definitely more. Oh, rows. I guess I could have had an extra row there in hindsight. But you know what? I'm pretty sure the damage is spectacular with two rows. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Also, remember the fact that the boss is red, which means I only need to do, like, a bit more damage than you think in order to actually harm it. 
So it's unfortunate that Naxero got delayed into oblivion. Other people aren't ready. Crab Girl could be used. I could use Crab Girl if I really wanted. How many orbs do I have? I have enough to make two water combos, so what I can do instead is just wait it out. One thing that's nice about Natsuro is that all her ability, or all her damage reduction is tied to... Well, most of her effective health is actual health. It's only a small damage reduction multiplier when you blob. So I'm going to just do this to wait for Mion. As long as I match heart TPAs, I can't truly die. I can pop Wangy. Yeah, Crab Girl was... Was Crab Girl debuffed, though? I don't recall. Oh, shoot. I don't have enough orbs. For some reason, I thought I had enough. We're committed now. But remember, against the boss, it will cap because double damage against that respective color. But Crab Girl definitely is kind of lacking in the damage department. But she does have two skill bind resists, which is something that I actually needed on this team. So... I kind of am holding Beach Planner's active skill just in case it's distal, so I don't want to, you know, dump my active. Otherwise, if it's distal and it's water unmatchable, life is pretty hard. So what I'm going to do instead is just match my two water combos and not die, and then I will pop Feral most likely to get a new board. Because this is ugly. So, Pop Feral. It should be good. It's 7 by 6 Many orbs have dropped down, thankfully. Oh, Osrit, that is truly unfortunate. Alright, hit the number of damage necessary in combos. On to the next floor. Smashing. Just in case it's distal. And it wasn't very hard to get around that. Wait, was that distal's floor? I don't remember what the floors are. Oh well. I should be able to now use my on here effectively and actually make sure I match properly. Oh, the Zeus isn't skilled up? Yeah, it isn't skilled up because I never needed it skilled up before. Bing. All right. Smashing to the next floor. So I want to keep Wang Yi or Crab Girl plus Natsuro for the next floor in case it's the full board preemptive. It's pretty inconsiderate. So I'm going to use like one of Wang Yi or Crab Girl. It doesn't matter too much who I use. I enjoy it, Osrid. I find it fun. Not the best board overall, so I'm going to use Crab Girl because it's a nice happy row at the top. Even with two water combos, it still does significant damage. So I'm going to use mine on here, and then, like I said, if it is the spawn that gives me the full board of unhappiness, I'll have Wang Yi plus Natsuro, and that will give me enough orbs to live. It's always a good idea to heal up with those beautiful heart TPAs. I did that wrong. Well, I did that incorrect. I just heard my laundry go bing. Either way, we're on to the next floor, so we're okay. So, if it's the full board changer, Wang Yi and Natsuro just randomly spawn orbs. So I can do that. So, we use Wang Yi first, then Natsuro. I know I don't get my void damage void anymore, but at least, you know, I'm not dead. And not dead is good. Maybe there's that slight chance that somehow I am able to, you know, shoot. Oh, fish, I did this wrong. You know what, I'll just make two water combos and call it a day. Not dead. I did that wrong. I miscounted for some reason. Okay. 
So it's a green attribute, which is pretty inconsiderate. So I am, to a certain extent, just going to be like waiting for Wang Yi to come back up to give me Void Void. And the healing, well, I got to heal Skyfall, but the healing is pretty impressive for this team overall. Playing these up soon. I should have probably just used Matsuro there when I think about it. Okay, Wang Yi's up. Why are you not? Okay, good. Change colors. Very good. So it's a little annoying because my Void Voids are kind of stuck in a way on certain characters, I feel. Let's use my own. There's no preemptive on the next floor, so I can safely smack this down. Alright, you take care, Deck Nest. That was not 10 combos. Whoops. That was a mistake. Oh, you're green again. Well, this is getting problematic, actually. Maybe I have to go with, like, the actual real VDPs. Like, an actual VDP. I'm gonna just try that out. Like, at least we'll tickle it a bit. Like, some cards have VDP on this team. Not many, but some do. It's okay. Oh, are you fishing serious? Really? Well, I didn't die, so that's pretty cool. So, not dead is pretty good when I think about it. Okay, so, I could just make a regular VDP and kill it, so I can save Wang Yi for the boss, which is, you know, a nice thing to have in my available options. Okay, so a VDP, there are some cards with VDP Awakening, so I actually killed this part. So we're on to the next floor. So because this is red, it's much easier to kill. So I should be able to kill it from here. Like, I should be able to. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, it's a pretty squishy boss. And remember, double damage is good against... Like, color advantage is a big deal in this game. So I'm going to pop Wang Yi, and maybe I'll pop Natsuro in conjunction with it, maybe. And then afterwards I can Planner plus Mayon. It's just a matter of, like, thinking, like, which way I want to use my actives. Natsuro should be plenty here. We'll make a row like we like to do. Oh shoot, I blobbed my orbs, shoot. Well, I made my 10 combos, but for some reason my finger decided to like not go in the correct direction. Alrighty, we pushed it below half health. And the water unmatchable would normally be a problem. I don't have enough turns of Void Damage Void, but Beach Planner has inherited Natsuro's Weapon Assist. Somehow I like to roll two of them. So, 
With this weapon assist, I get Void Void, Clear and Matchable, and Full Heal, just in case something goes really wrong. And now I just kill it like I normally would. While making beautiful combos. Beautiful, beautiful combos. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. So this should be it. Like, color advantage is a big deal. Like, blue teams naturally have an advantage in this dungeon. If this doesn't kill it, I'll be truly devastated and surprised. But it does. It's like pretty consistent two-shotting, which is nice. So yay! At the same time, I could have played that much better, but I feel like the team is reasonably consistent overall. So, hopefully- Hey, look at all those skill boost plus pluses. I am so skill boost delicious, along with a double damage cap. So, nice drops overall. So, hopefully this video provides you with some insight as to what you can do to tackle this dungeon. I wish you all the very best of luck in your own pet adventures, and happy puzzling.